Hello friends, this is Shaheen. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe is something special. This is mutton kofta biryani. Learn how to prepare this very tasty mutton kofta biryani at home. For preparing kofta balls, we will going to grind all the dry masalas first and then we will grind our kigma or mincemeat. So here are 4 tablespoons of roasted chana. This is 1 teaspoon of red chili powder. Once again you can increase or decrease the amount according to your taste. And this is half a, half a teaspoon, little less half a teaspoon. Garam masala powder, 2 teaspoon of grated coconut, 1 teaspoon of kashkash or poppy seeds. This is optional but gives very good results in koftas. And salt. This is salt. These are 3 green chilies. Uh, add according to your taste. And some coriander leaves we will grind it see this is the powder of uh, roasted chana garam masala red chili powder and salt we will keep it aside and in the same jar this is minced meat or keema no fat and wash it properly squeeze every single drop of it okay now we will going to grind it in small now you can see our keema is ready. This is 2 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. Keep it for 2 minutes. And here 
we have to heat some oil to add in koftas heat this oil now we will start mixing this masala in small quantities i have added about 10 teaspoon and this much uh, is still there so i am keeping it aside not required and we will add about 2 teaspoon of hot oil into this the oil which is getting heated here I am going to take the same two. That's all. Now take size of your choice. The medium size is okay. And put a little bit of water into the palm and start rolling and prepare all your koftas like this. I have prepared koftas and this is a mixture of water and oil. Carefully put all the koftas in this water and let it cook. Water will evaporate and your koftas will be fried in the oil remaining. I have added four, uh, 4 spoons of water into the oil and the oil was not hot. Otherwise it may hurt you. Now our koftas are getting cooked in water and when the water will evaporate they will be fried little bit in the oil which we added and here i have prepared koftas but if you are preparing it for the first time do one work at a time otherwise you will be in mess and you can keep this koftas prepared and keep it aside then boil your rice because that is the most technical part of preparing biryani you can see the water has evaporated and now they are getting cooked in the oil we will separate these koftas in a plate and prepare the gravy in the same wok. We have to prepare gravy in which we will add our koftas. Three spoons of oil. Few cloves, green cardamoms. Piece of cinnamon or dalchini. This is javatri. Few black peppers. And this is shazira or caraway. Half a teaspoon. This is the main ingredients which give life to any biryani. And this is fried onion which I have made a paste. These are four medium sized onions to save over some time. And this is a four teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. teaspoon of coriander powder and how much chili you like uh, it depends on your choice so add according to your choice one and a half teaspoon add green chilies just do half of it Now add salt. This will require about 2 teaspoons. And finally, this is curd, about 4 tablespoons of curd. This is mint or pudina. And if you wish, you can add uh, lemon juice. And if you don't like sour taste in biryani, you can just do without this lemon. And we will grate little bit of nutmeg. This is very strong. Just a piece of it. Small bit. And this is my garam masala. Special garam masala. Which I always use in my non veg dishes. 2 teaspoons of it. We are adding kofta. You know the balls taste really awesome comparatively to the say, uh, biryani which we prepare with pieces of mutton or chicken because there are so many masalas inside these balls. Now the sign of any gravy that it has been cooked properly. Oil is on the top. 
and we are putting off the flame now we will going to layer the rice with these kofta balls yes, today we are making mutton kofta biryani and for the rice i always use india gate basmati rice super i have taken half a kg wash it thrice with very light hand because this rice is very beautiful but very delicate to handle now i am going to soak it for 15 to 20 minutes and keep it aside this is a boiling water with coriander leaves and mint add rice into it we have to put all these rice into this water we have to check our rice in between please don't uh, do the spoon again and again because it's a delicate rice and it gets break and the beauty goes when the rice starts coming on top that is a sign and we have to do it only 80% cooking see the long grain now our rice is 80% cooked we have to put off the flame and drain all the water quickly please do not run this uh, water under cold water anything just like we do with a uh, chow mein or noodles now i am using my very beautiful prestige pan and add little bit of oil to avoid burning at the bottom put little bit of masala and just keep the flame slow to avoid extra ghee or oil i am not using extra ghee but if you like you can give a dash of desi ghee now little bit of fried onion little bit of coriander leaves and then again repeat the process till all your koftas and rice is used is the final layering add few drops of kyura water sprinkle it and finally if you are using a pot like this you can directly serve into this pot it's beautiful with a lid and these are raisins and while garnishing we will add cashew nuts and here is the color this is sanduri red color or orange color and this is yellow food color which i have diluted with a little bit of water and yes it's ready keep it for them so friends after waiting for 15 minutes you can see the vapor and this this means that your biryani is ready to be enjoyed and now we will do the plating and now finally garnish with raisins and fried cashews very yummy biryani is ready and try this though elaborate in process but very tasty something different from the regular biryani you can enjoy it with raita or with dalcha which i have prepared along with mutton pulao